Okay, it's Saturday morning. I'm out uh, here in the Ochco Mountains. I'm on the little section of the uh, North Fork of the Crooked River. It's a beautiful day. I ended up getting in here super late last night. It was one o'clock. Uh, I went to a friend's barbecue uh, yesterday afternoon and I my intention was to go home and then come up this morning, but I decided to go ahead and just head out last night. I had everything with me, the dogs were with me, so I didn't see any reason and not just getting out here last night, but by the time I dinked around and found my way to this spot it was and got set up, it was uh, 1, 1 a.m. in this morning. So I slept in a little bit and I'm just now having a little breakfast and some coffee. I want to spend a little time doing a little hiking and. And I was told that there's a little bit of fish in this uh, creek, so we're gonna maybe try some fishing later this afternoon. But for the most part, I just kinda wanna relax and enjoy myself. All right, so you can obviously tell that there's a lot of people have camped here before. You know, there's an absolutely huge fire pit here. And a fire pit like this might be okay if you got a bunch of friends and you're all gathered around it and you're having a larger fire on a cool night. But as you can see, I'm in shorts. It's a fairly warm day and I, I'm expecting it to stay fairly warm into the evening. So what I want is something that will just offer me a little ambiance and make it so I can do some cooking later. So what I'm gonna do is just steal a few of these rocks and set up a little smaller, more usable fire pit off to the side here. All right, so what I'm attempting to do right now is clear a good spot for this fire pit, my new fire pit that I'm gonna build. It's really important to me, especially moving into summer, that uh, I clear a good spot because there's a lot of dry pine needles and everything around and that could catch on fire and cause a fire to uh, get out of control very quickly. So I've cleared a nice wide berth and then I'm gonna have a nice, you know, fairly small fire pit, probably about this big, uh, right here. And by digging out a little bit, I can confirm that there's no duff underneath or roots that I'm gonna have to worry about catching fire and burning underneath the ground and then causing a problem later. Also, it's nice after I'm done here, I'll be able to disperse my uh, rocks that I put here and bring this dirt right back over, uh, making sure that my fire is completely out and leaving no trace of uh, me having a fire here in the first place. I can't tell you just how nice this is right now. You know, I was so um, unsure of whether or not last night I wanted to get up here, you know, try to come up last night or just go home and try to get up here early this morning. But I am so stoked, <laughs> so stoked that I got up here uh, last night. When I woke up this morning and I could just hear the creek outside and just flowing and the birds chirping, and the temperature was perfect, you know, for sleeping. You know, I wasn't, there's just a slight chill in the air, but it's not so cold that you're, you're uncomfortable, you're cozy in your sleeping bag. I was just like, oh, this is, this is awesome. 
and now it's like I don't know it's probably about 11 uh, pushing noon and it's warmed up it's 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 getting very warm and it's you know the pines have kind of warmed up and it's got that you know really kind of pungent pine smell and uh, and it's just fantastic and and then you just got this creek out in front and I'm just kind of watching it and and drinking a little bit left of my coffee I mean I'm telling you it just this is it this is so what I'm I was after this weekend So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off my cup of coffee here and continue to enjoy just the, the peacefulness of, of the location and, and then we'll start putzing around doing some of these other things that we enjoy. But yeah, it's just really nice. Really, really nice. All right, so I'm gonna head out for a little hike. I'm gonna grab uh, my ECS expansion here. And then I've, what I'm running with right now is the Hill People gear bag. If you guys saw my last video, you know that I'm testing a new adapter that I've made so that you can connect my, my expansion pack to the Hill People gear bag. So I, I'm just kind of continuing to Test that out and see how I like and how comfortable it is. But uh, so far I've been happy with it and I think that people who like using the HPG bag will definitely will definitely like will like the adapter and been able to connect a small lightweight pack like my ACS expansion to it. So but yeah, we're just gonna it's pretty warm. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little hike up along the uh, river bank and just check out uh, a little more of the area. And then that way too, what, since I'll be by the riverbank, the dogs, if they start to get too warm or whatever, can constantly, you know, check in with the river, river and get a drink and cool off. All right, so I'm getting ready to start my fire here. Um, I still would like to go out and shoot a little bit of landscape photography, and I'm gonna just shoot it right out here in front of the camp. So what I would like to do is just go ahead and get this fire going. That way I can kind of get uh, some coals built up so when I'm done with my shoot, I can come back and get cooking dinner.
I'd already gathered up all this, these dead branches earlier, and they're covered in a lot of old man's beard. So it should be pretty easy with a lighter. And this stuff's pretty dry. This stuff should be pretty easy with a lighter to uh, get going. So anyways, I'm just out here messing around, trying to shoot some different shots. It's really pleasant out here right now. Uh, the sun has kind of gone over the hillside, so we're all shaded down in here pretty much now. But it's just gorgeous, absolutely enjoying it. The water, again, I can't, you know, it just feels so good to be standing in and kind of relaxing. I mean, and in fact, today I even kind of sat out here in my in my uh, chair and just soaked my feet. It was, it felt so good. But anyhow, I'm just gonna kind of mess around here a little bit longer, uh, maybe take a few more shots here and there. But uh, yeah, very very pleasant evening. Very pleasant to be out here right now. Beautiful morning again this morning. And the sun's just kind of creeping through the trees and throwing a little dappled light out over the uh, creek here in front of me. Really enjoyed my time here this weekend. I wish I didn't have to pack up this morning, but I'm really glad though that I did get here 
even though it was late the other night, it was nice having the entire day yesterday to just enjoy this location. You know, I got to do a lot of things. You know, I fished a little bit. I got some landscape photography in, took the dogs on a nice walk, and it was really nice having the water here because it was hot yesterday, and so it was really, really nice to have uh, the ability to kind of just uh, walk along the river or in the river at times, you know, so that they could stay cool and have plenty of water to drink and not get too hot. Definitely a really great location. Uh, my buddy Casey from the Coyote Works channel, he showed me this location a few years ago. I haven't been back here since then, uh, and it took me a little, a little time on Google Earth to kind of refamiliarize myself with the roads and figure out how to get back out here, which you know, I get a lot of questions about how I find my camp locations, and the, and Google Earth is the, probably the utility I use the most, along with the Backcountry Navigator software that I have on my phone. Those two utilities uh, are probably my most used, and when it comes to navigating uh, our the public lands and national forests we have here in Oregon, uh, really great, but. <clears throat> But unfortunately, like I said, I do have to pack up this morning. Um, you know, got to get back and make a living somehow. So, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out this area with me, and uh, I'll see you guys again outside. I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please take the time to like, comment, and share, as your interaction really motivates me to continue to produce this type of content. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the channel, click the Patreon link in the description to find out how.